guys, my name is Unamain, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Walking Dead. Choosing only the bad answers, anything and everything that makes me look and sound like a jackass. Now, we uh, last left off uh, not knowing what to do. We need something to help distract the zombies that are outside uh, so we can get the pharmacy keys. So I'm just going to look around for a little bit in hopes of finding something. Uh, I don't think I really checked in here that much, so I think I'm going to head in here. And uh, pray for the best. So let's have a little look around here. Did we? Uh, we looked at the painting before. So what else is around here? All right, let's have a look. First aid kit. We don't need the first aid kit, do we? No. Luckily, there's nothing. Is there anything like in the drawers or anything? What about? Oh, here, drawer. I don't think I looked in there, did I? No, I didn't. So let's grab. It's the remote to my dad's TV. The remote to TV. All right. And since we were looking for distraction, maybe we can use that remote to turn the TVs on across the street. I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> I doubt it, uh, unless it's a universal remote. <laughs> um. Yeah. So let's go back outside and see if we can use the TV. To uh, or use a remote to do the TV thing. Uh, talk to Doug. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes, let's have a look. Let's have a look around. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm gonna try and get these videos all out before the fourth one comes out. If not, I do apologize. All right, so we have a remote option now. So let's give that to Doug. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in the <laughs> Let's try. I knew he was a nerd. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Nice. Who's to say it already hasn't? They're all getting attracted to that. Which could buy us enough time to go grab the keys that we need for the pharmacy. Now's the time. What if somebody was in there hiding like we are right now? <laughs> we just fucked them over. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Jesus, I would be like sprinting. Not running, but sprinting. I don't think I would be walking very calmly. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Poor guy. I have to finish you off. I got to do this now, <laughs> man. I got to do this. So, uh, it seems like they're not giving me very many uh, options to be a dick. I could have just said nothing, but I think that'll be less entertaining. Let's do it again. One more time. Come on. I should chop it right off. <laughs> yes. Bam. Come on. Let's keep going. Until it comes right off. One more time. Come on. One more. Keep going. Non-stop. Go right in the head. When did you do that in the first place? I'm assuming, I think that's his brother, right? That sucks. I don't know. If we, yeah, he's a zombie. I, like, I'd be able to do that to my brother. No offense, Jeffrey. But, um, it would really suck. There we go. Like, it would hurt inside, but I know that I'd be done kind of thing. Holy crap! Run! Oh, my God. 
Run, motherfucker, run! Get inside. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've got the pharmacy keys, let's get the uh, drugs for what's his name? Man, that was Larry. Close. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're I know I am, thank you. Let's have sex. <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah, going to the back room. Let's get some sex right now. Let's do it. Just, yeah, why could we just chop the door down? <laughs> All right. I'm... Oh no! Shit. We gotta hurry. Oh shit! Well then. That's what, that sucks. All that noise is going to attract all of them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The screwdriver. <laughs> she had a bad day. I should know what? I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Oh, no. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Come time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Hey, fuck. Push. Push. Oh, oh, come on. I can do this. I got it. I got it. I found something. Oh, yeah, the cane. Look at that. Come on, let's do it. Awesome. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm assuming. Shit, who, who should I help? Her or Doug? I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna help Doug just because. Uh, helping the chick would be like, you know, the proper thing to do in my head. So I'm gonna go to Doug. No, I want Doug. Give me Doug. Give me Doug. Give me Doug. Oh no! That sucks. No, Carly. Get out of there, Carly. Fuck. Oh shit. Come on, let's go. I would have grabbed the screwdriver out of her head or her back or whatever. Go, 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 go. Run like a bitch. Run like a bitch. What? What the fuck? Somebody else get eaten. Let's go then. Even if he is an asshole. What a dick. After I did all that to get him the fucking pills that he needs, he fucking hits me 
they like knock me out. What the fuck? I think that this is the end of this uh, chapter. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, oh wait, no, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. I don't think so. This might be the ending cutscene here. So I'll let you guys watch that. <laughs> Before I drop the intro on you guys again. I still can't believe fucking Larry did that, you know? After everything I did to help him, he fucking knocks me out. Fucking dick, yo. If I had the option to, I wouldn't have even bothered getting into prescription pills that he needed. But fuck it. Sounds like a bad day over there. <laughs> hey, go ahead. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Just let him go. I think that's the wrong call. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. With the girl from upstairs. <laughs> oh yeah, the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway. See you around. Ah, <sighs> we could use that car. But no. Greedy son of a bitch gotta take it with him. Should have just fucking walked. <laughs> of course, I'm just fucking. Alright, so let's I think we're nearing the end of this chapter, so we're gonna Thank play you. it till the end. Close call back. And then there. we'll start the next Thanks episode. Me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. For the next. Yeah. We do. Next episode for the you next part. Said you part. wanted kids <laughs> once. Uh, I did. Yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kitty. I got your back, pal. All right. So now, what do we do? Who else are we gonna talk to? Assuming we talk to. I guess Doug, maybe. I'm thinking Larry as well. How you doing, Doug? Doug? Could, we couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. Crush on Carly, don't you? I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb, but uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. Just say nothing. I, that, it was all good Sorry. stuff. It's dumb. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. I just wish you would have picked her. No, fuck you, man. Be grateful you're still alive, piece of shit. I'm gonna hate assholes like that. Do we talk to the kids now? Let's talk to the kids, see what they have to say. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. 
I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie. Uh, it probably wasn't much. I had to nothing begin to say with. there. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense. Probably should just said nothing. It's how I used to talk to my mom and dad, and now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here first. Fuck you. Oof. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine. <laughs> that kid is so annoying. What I hope he dies. That is so like bad to my say. Daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know Knock him out, are. please. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Fuck, man. Hey, Lee... Do you have a second? Only if you're naked. <laughs> My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. She has a name, you asshole. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Are we? I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. <laughs> if they ever do. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Boy, are you ever wrong. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> There's no fucking power now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll continue going on through episode two. Um, I'm probably going to be starting the new part kind of thing. So I'll leave you guys with this as I talk. and just be the next time thing. So you guys can, you know, know what's, have an idea of what's going on in the next uh, episode. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. <laughs> How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Oh shit. Who the fuck is that? You all fuck duck, Miss Pit? Well, I'm just doing the same thing. We know this guy's not gonna make it. This isn't happening. <laughs> What? Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, stay dirty. Alright, just a quick thing guys. This is uh, that they show you at the end of each chapter. It's basically showing you all your decisions, what you chose, and what other people have chose uh, that played this game. And uh, basically... Um, it's and then it compares it and blah blah blah. So uh, lie to Herschel. Me and thirty six percent of the players lied to Herschel. Um, Duck or who would you save? Duck or Sean? Uh, me and forty seven percent of the players chose Sean. Uh, side with Kenny. Me and fifty one percent lied to Larry. Um, gave Irene the gun. Me and forty five percent of the players gave her the gun. And who would you save? Doug or Carly? Uh, me and twenty three percent chose uh doug which uh let's see the side with kenny thing 
I don't know why people would side. Well, like, you know, I know it's only like a one percent difference. But I mean, I I thought a lot of people would side with Kenny, but then I thought about it. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's right, because Kenny decided to go save his son and not come back to save uh, Sean. So. That's all right. And then, of course, no big surprise there that everyone went and chose Carly. It's a girl. It's a chivalry thing or whatever you want to call it. That's basically, that was my idea behind why I chose to save Doug over Carly because, you know, I figured that a lot of people would choose to save Carly because, you know, it's the man thing to do. You know, women over, women, it's like on a boat, you know, when the boat's sinking, the men and children go first. Or sorry, the women and the children go first and then the men stay last. It's kind of the same thing like that. So I figured, why not choose Doug? Let the woman die. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you guys later for the uh, the next part.